Good morning. On the occasion of the workshop of today, Healthy Diet for an Healthy Life, uh, in the frame of the EU project Repeat, I am pleased uh, to welcome and have a little talk with Professor Walter Longo from the University of Southern California and Director of the Longevity Institute. So welcome and could you tell us something about your research interest? Yes, uh, so thank you very much for having me. Uh, we are interested in, uh, first of all, in aging in general but particularly in the genetics of aging and, uh, and the connection between uh, food and food components and the genes that regulate aging, but also the diseases of aging. You're very well known for your research in, uh, in fasting, uh, for the benefit of fasting. For how long and how often one should fast to achieve some kind of uh, beneficial changes? So, yes, yeah, so fasting was one of our ways to uh, uh, identify interventions that could modulate genes, so uh, change the levels of these genes that, that promote aging. And so we came up with something called the fasting mimicking diet. It's a, a, a fasting-like diet that has over 800 calories. And this diet done periodically can have uh, a strong modulation of, of a variety of genes, and these can affect uh, risk factors for multiple diseases. So it's not a complete fast. Which kind of, di of food is allowed in this diet and which kind is not? It is not a complete fast. It is uh, a low protein, low sugar, relatively low carb, and relatively high fat uh, diet. You mentioned that it can be used for several diseases, and one of these is uh, cancer, as you reported. What uh, do you think uh, for the incidence of cancer? Do you suggest people with uh, under chemotherapy or uh, could it's going to be used for, useful for them? Uh, or for prevention? So now we have a number of clinical trials, both looking at the cancer prevention and cancer treatment. Uh, we're more advanced with the cancer treatment, uh, where this uh, fasting mimicking diet has been tested in, in five different hospitals. Uh, three or four clinical trials are over. These are smaller trials, and they're all positive. And now we're waiting for the results of a, a larger trial and over uh, 250 patients. Uh, so hopefully, we hope that this uh, will be available to patients very soon. However, some patients that cannot wait are already uh, doing this with the help of their oncologist. Okay, so we thank you very much for being with us today and for joining this, this day.